Now, if you're like one of the millions of people who are currently working from home, attending Zoom University, or have no motivation to get the things that you need to get done, then this video is for you. Trust me, over the past few weeks, it may seem like being productive is the last thing on your mind. Scrolling through TikToks, binging Netflix, and catching up on Nick Shay's YouTube videos are fun and all. But if we take a step back and think about what this lockdown means, we can actually find something great to come out of it. Think about all those things that have been on your long-term to-do list that you never got around to. Cleaning out your closet, learning a new instrument, brushing up on some old hobbies. We are now blessed with an infinite amount of time where our only real obligations are basically doing chores around the house. Rather than waste this opportunity, might as well find the good in this and make something out of it. So here are a few ways to stay positive and boost your productivity during these times. First things first, have a routine. Now having a routine is probably something you've heard in every single productivity video throughout your quarantine time. However, there really is a reason behind this and having a set routine throughout your day allows you to allot your time to specific tasks that you need to get done and make sure that you actually check off tasks on your to-do list rather than just sitting in bed all day watching Netflix. Now personally, in a time like this, I'm not someone who has a set schedule, meaning I wake up at a specific time every single day, eat lunch, do the same thing every single day at the same time. However, I do like to split up my days into three parts and that is going to be work, hobbies, and play. And the reason I have allotted it into these three categories is that this allows me more flexibility within my day to set up my routine so that I'm able to hit at least those three categories every single day. Now obviously if you're in classes you are going to have a little bit more schedule in your day but for me right now my biggest focus is going to be work meaning I'm going to be focusing on my YouTube videos, writing emails, drafting scripts, and coming up with new concepts so that honestly takes up a majority of my time. The second part is going to be hobbies. Like I mentioned it's very important to utilize this time to either pick up a new hobby or brush up on an old one and for me that's going to be getting back into to music. This is something that I used to love to do when I was in high school. So after I film or edit or script a video, usually I like to take some time to decompress, whether that's getting out my clarinet and practicing for a little bit or learning a new song on the piano. These are all ways for you to decompress, but at the same time remain productive and actually get stuff done. There's no better feeling than learning a new song or finishing a painting. So if you find time laying around, definitely try and figure out a new hobby to pick up because that's honestly going to be the best use of your time. Now third is obviously going to be play. Despite this quarantine and this lockdown, I still think it's important for you to relax take time out of your day to once again just watch netflix play your switch i know animal crossing has been super huge lately and just be unproductive be lazy i think that's totally okay i really don't think that this quarantine is meant for people to stay productive 24 hours a day i think the biggest silver lining throughout this whole thing is now we have basically unlimited amount of time to focus on ourselves, focus on the things that matter recenter your priorities and your goals so that when we do get out of this lockdown you're able to hit the ground running you have all this energy pent up and you've been laying down the infrastructure for you to go ahead and take charge when this is all over. Now, in all honesty, I'm not really the type of person who has long attention spans, meaning that I like to have a to-do list of things that I know I need to get done. Personally, for me, I like to break this up in weeks rather than days because I'm sure as many of you guys know, the days tend to just cross over and you kind of lose track of what day it actually is. What day is it today? Today? Today's Wednesday? I thought it was Tuesday. I like to have a weekly to-do list of actionable items that I can actually get checked off so that every time I complete one, I feel like I'm actually making progress rather than just looking at a list on my phone. I also like to organize in terms of priority, meaning that the most important things are going to have to get done first because that's going to help you alleviate the stress of knowing that you have a huge project due or you have an essay to write and getting that out of the way so you can focus on your other tasks rather than cutting it closer to the deadline. So for me right now this week I have to script the productivity video which I already did. I have to get the b-roll shots which I already did. I have to film the voiceover which I have to do and then make the thumbnail. I'm also trying to organize my hard drives which has been something I've been meaning to do for a long time and I'm finally getting around to doing it. I also want to update my website and my portfolio as well as create some new Lightroom presets. These are all manageable tasks that I can easily get done in a week and having this checklist on my desk really just allows me to make sure that I actually get shit done and whenever I finish one task I can easily move on to the next without wasting time and trying to figure out what I need to do. Now, the second thing that's going to help you maximize your productivity is create workspaces. And what I mean by this is you want to have specific environments so that you can focus on one thing at a time. For me, I have my studio, I have my creative workspaces, I have a little bit of a library set up so that I'm able to prioritize the things that matter in that one workspace. Having an environment like this allows you to declutter your mind from all your distractions so that you really have only one priority to focus on. So right behind me is going to be my creativity workspace. This is when I need to draft a new video, I wanna get into my editing mode or make some beats and just be creative. 
So having everything I need in this one environment really allows me to focus in on these specific tasks. It's going to minimize your distractions and make sure that you're being the most productive with your time. And finally guys, remember a clean space equals a clean mind. This means making sure that there's no trash laying around, making sure that your desk is organized so that you have a clean functioning slate where you can actually get work done. This is really important for me because I like to make sure that everything is tidy. I have all my hard drives plugged in. I have everything charged and ready to go so that when I am in the zone, I don't have to get up and go look for a charger or look for cables because that's going to distract me from my flow state. Finally, after a long day of productive hard work, make sure to take some time to check up on your friends, give them a FaceTime call, hop in a Zoom meeting. At the end of the day, this lockdown is something that none of us were prepared for and we're faced with the fact that who knows how long this is going to end up. So make sure you keep in contact with the people you're close to, make sure to check up on them, see how they're doing because at the end of the day, we're all really in this together and it's gonna be the one thing that keeps you from going insane. It's really easy to be cooped up in your own room, only talking to your family. So getting interaction with your friends, even if it's just through a FaceTime call, is something that's going to matter a lot more than you think. On top of that, make sure you're still getting your physical exercise in, whether that's going for a jog, doing some push-ups in your room, whatever you can do to stay active and fit is not only going to help with your productivity, but also help with your mood, relieve some stress. And yeah, everyone needs to go on just a nice walk every now and then. However, despite everything I said in this video, at the end of the day, it really is okay to be unproductive and be lazy. Don't think you have to come out of this quarantine having accomplished so many different things, when in reality, this could just be a blessing in disguise for you to just reconnect with yourself and make sure that you're in the right state of mind for when we do get out of lockdowns so you're able to execute on all that energy you've got pent up. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like down below. In the comments down below, share with me how you guys are remaining productive. These are just the tips that I developed to help organize my day, but a lot of you guys have your own routine, so let me know down below. As as always guys, don't stress, finesse. I'll see you in the next one. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the night up. Oh my god, you should match it, it's that kill. No way light us till I fuck my 28th up. 1998, my family had the acro. Oh. Every night fucks every day up yeah.